shouldn't have dropped you. You're right. Let me go! I'm a fairy? How fucking lame. The last three seasons have been a prelude to her finding out that she's got fairy in her. You're mostly human. Apparently a fae coupled with one of your female ancestors. Coupled? Knowing you had something that made you a little special, but you still thought you were pretty much human, to finding out that, in fact, you're not a human being. <laughs> that's, that's not an easy thing for someone to take in. Every supernatural I have ever met believes the fae were wiped out of existence by vampires. She's also finding out that the man that she loves is also her greatest predator. Fairy blood is delectable and intoxicating to vampires. My blood is so delicious. Does that mean your feelings for me are based on No. She realizes that the vampires have all been after her, if for no other reason than that her blood is some sort of special blood for them. You see the difference between the way I look at you and the way that Eric and Russell do? She wants to believe him, but there's just a seed of a doubt in her mind. It is not your blood I love. I love you. It's not that different than a normal relationship where you wonder, what are the things that make this person love me? I think you can always tell with Sam that he's holding in a very difficult past. Sam flashes back to before he settled in Fontan. We know already that Sam has had a very difficult past, and there's a sense that Sam probably did some pretty seedy and pretty awful things. Tell me how you do it, Sam. How you keep getting into these places without setting off the alarm? Man, ain't nothing that is secrets. Could this guy who's so grounded in some ways grounds this show um, really have such a dark past? You are so fucking beautiful. Well, thanks, honey. Feeling beautiful. What is this? This would be you getting screwed. You in on this? It's her idea. Sam so decent and good that there is a chip on his shoulder. Where does that chip come from? That's one flashback. In a second flashback, Sam uh, brutally kills them both. Surprise, asshole! So we see a side of Sam that's, you know, pretty harsh, pretty intense. That was part of the trick of showing the audience what a dark, twisted background he does have, but still maintain what makes Sam Sam. At this point, Jason has found himself in the midst of a whole bunch of stuff. I shot eggs. Jason is at his breaking point. He's gone through so much, and he could not have had a worse, like, 36 hours. But at the end of his day, ends up like, oh, OK, my girlfriend is a giant black panther. You get the sense that even though he's not pleased to find out the woman he loves is in fact a panther, um, he's gonna be able to handle it. Mama. 